Hey everybody, this is Steve Watson at Watson House Studios. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, today I'm going to talk about and open up a Furman SS6B power strip. Um, they call it an EMI RFI uh, noise reducer. Um, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to show you the insides of it. And I'm going to do that in just a minute, okay? So I'll flip around and we're going to see the little device here. Okay, so here's the unit opened up. And you can see that I've removed all everything, the AC sockets, um, the little board that here, and it has a power switch that goes to the front of the unit. It's this is the power the switch here. It has this little um, thing that's actually really cosmetic. The power switch is glued down inside here with uh, like the hot glue style. Um, so let me say one thing. I did my best to look up these power plugs but there's no part numbers on them or anything like that so i'm assuming that they have some kind of ferrite um protection in them to try to and ferrite if you're you've seen on some stereo systems or you know power supply systems that they have the little round metal loop thing that's that's to try to cut down the noise radio interference um so i'm assuming that's how they're doing this and because otherwise i don't really see anything else in the board here, you know, it's a very simple circuit. The, the white the white cable from the power supply or from the source from the AC plug um, is direct, as is the ground. The black is what goes through the power switch. And once it goes through the power switch, it comes through and it goes through, sorry, forgive me, goes through this, um, what that is, is a thermal resistor. And then there's another thermal resistor on the other side. But across the, between the two, there's really just this capacitor, which is right here. And um, there's, a, there's a diode and a resistor, but those are meant for the, uh, for the um, LED on the front, the power, the power indicator. Um, so, and then there's a varistor. This block right here is a varistor. I look, those parts I was able to look up and find pretty easily. And I believe that's how they um, do this. The shutdown which otherwise i don't know how they do it to be honest with you um but when i look at this i just don't really see you know th that great of um protection from emi or rfi um but you know i mean to me it's more of a glorified power strip and look the construction is pretty good for a power strip but i just don't know how good it's going to do um noise reduction now i will tell you that my studio it's a home studio. This is in the back of my house. We added on this structure. There's a uh, this control booth, and then there's a room that you can't see through the glass. I have it all powered off right now. That's where the performance room. And the problems I've run into is we had a guy playing through a Marshall um, in the performance room, playing with a lot of gain. Uh, he wasn't even playing that loud, really, but just a lot of gain, a lot of distortion. And I had that air conditioning unit running up there, split uh, air conditioning unit. And I was getting um, whining noise in his amp. So I was able to turn off the air conditioning. No big deal. The problem went away. But um, I can't always do that. You know, it gets to be 110 here outside. So, or there's a lot of people in this room. So what we're doing is I'm buying um, a UPS, which I should have done before. I actually have a UPS, but I need to buy a different type. It's a double conversion UPS. And what that does is it converts um, AC coming in to DC and then reconverts it to AC. So it really isolates you from the noise in the line. So that, that AC on the wall will be plugged into the wall power, but it'll be isolated through the UPS. Everything, everything else will be plugged into the UPS. And I bought two of them. And they're not cheap, don't get me wrong, um, but it's an investment. And I bought two of them, one for the performance room and one for this control booth. All the equipment in here will be go through one UPS and everything plugged in that other room is going to throw you the a second UPS. And then I can use these to try to help with the RF. Um, we did have, I had a person here, a vocalist, and we had, we tried two different mics, U87 and a Manly. The Manly um, required, um, it has a phantom power, but of course, so, so does the U87. And I was running it through my 1073. And running it through, and then the LA-2A compressor. And we had it loud. I mean, we were, and not a lot of compression, but um, 
and we were hearing uh, radio stations. He was hearing it in his headphones. And so I got to work on that, the RF stuff. It's, you know, it's very difficult here. I, um, if you were to look outside this, um, walk out of here, I'm right underneath power lines. And unfortunately there's a big transformer right above this almost, um, probably, you know, 30 feet away from this very console on my Trident console. So I'm, you know, doing the best I can here. You know, as you can see, there's, you know, some, a lot of equipment here, a lot of investment, and I don't want to have power just killing me with all the noise that can happen. Um, I will say that I also have bought some other um, Furman products. I like Furman. It's I'm not trying to put them down at all on this on this um, unit at all. I just don't think it's the greatest investment. Although they were they were 50 bucks each, I'm saying they're cheap, and you can tell I one of them's no longer going to be used. Um, I'm not going to put it back together. Uh, I could, but I'm not going to, it's not, it's not needed. I, I did this for this purpose. I wanted to open it up. And anyway, so look, um, make your own decisions, right? This is just me going through the pain of learning how to keep, how to have not, to have any noise in the room when we're recording. And um, so thank you for listening. And if you like this, please subscribe. And um, I'll be I'll be posting more videos. I'll be open. Like I said, I'll be opening up one of these. Of course, I won't destroy it like that did this, but you don't need to on one of those um, rack mounted power strips. And, um, you know, and then I'll, other what other else we come up with, you know, any other problems I run into, because this is meant to be a learning thing for me and hopefully for you guys. And if you want to put comments and tell me I'm crazy or give me advice, I'm happy to hear it. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys are all well. Everybody take care now. Okay, bye.